question. How can a Killary Group infrared thermography inspection improve your plant's maintenance system? Answer. We use a state-of-the-art infrared camera to view equipment under load. This allows us to see potential problems which are invisible to the naked eye and other maintenance techniques. We use the information gathered in a plant survey to compile a detailed report which is presented to the customer, outlining the fault, possible causes and solutions. This gives the customer a much greater insight into plant performance and condition and is an invaluable aid to any maintenance team, allowing them to carry out essential maintenance where it's needed, ensuring plant downtime, loss production and labour costs are at a minimum. In this image we can see a line contactor to the top of the image. This was feeding a VSD. There were no visible faults on the contactor but in the thermal image we can see a 93 degrees centigrade hotspot caused by a loose connection. Again in this image we see a VSD this time a buzz bar connection to the incoming side of the VSD. The thermal image highlights a slight hotspot which may be the early stages of a potential fault on a buzz bar connection. Here we can see flexible buzz bar connections feeding off a circuit breaker and feeding a, the rest of the panel. The thermal image found a loose connection clearly visible in the thermal image but invisible to the naked eye. In this image we are looking at a UPS bypass switch feeding the comms room of a large commercial building occupied by an IT company. The control gear looked perfect to the naked eye but under inspection with the thermal imaging camera a critical fault was found which otherwise would have caused a catastrophic failure or even a fire in the comms room which would have cost huge sums of money and massive downtime would have been incurred. After identifying the fault it was able to be rectified within 24 hours and no loss of production was incurred by the company. The following images show some star delta starters for two pumps in a plant where there were not thought to be any faults as the plant was relatively new. The infrared inspection quickly highlighted some critical faults which not only risked the destruction of the control cabinets but also damage to some very expensive pumps. Again the faults were found in time and only the faulty equipment had to be replaced. No damage was incurred to any other equipment. A plant operator alerted us to a possible fault on a machine in a timber sawmills when he noticed an increased noise from the machine. The thermal image found that one of the motors on the machine had a failure on the front bearing. This caused an increased temperature and risked a possible fire and in a timber sawmill this could be devastating. A maintenance fitter in this plant used our service to help him identify a faulty oil cooler which was causing the hydraulic circuit on some machinery to run very hot. This image shows a switch fuse in a plant which was feeding a critical load. The thermal image shows that a faulty fuse on the centre phase was heating up and failure would have been imminent. This image was recorded on a routine thermal inspection of an oil processing plant where the thermal performance of plant and equipment is critical to plant performance and safety. This is the image of a motor and gearbox driven by a belt on a cone crusher in a quarry. There was a fault found on the gearbox which under further inspection 
was caused by a bearing failure due to misalignment of the drive belts. In this image we see a contactor in a machine's electrical control cabinet. Everything seemed to be okay on visual inspection and there were no problems clear to the naked eye. On thermal inspection it can be seen that the circuit is highly overloaded and ready to fail. Here are some fuse units found in a control panel on a cone crusher. Again, no visual fault can be seen. Under thermal inspection, it's clear to be seen that a faulty fuse is causing the complete unit to heat up and will eventually lead to failure or possible fire. This image shows some control gear found on a large industrial machine which was operating two shifts per day. The thermal image found a loose connection which would have definitely caused a failure and possibly a fire. This image shows a three phase socket on the side of a panel which has no visual signs of a fault but in the thermal view we can see that the circuit is clearly overloaded and is unfit for purpose. On this image we can see a belt driven gearbox on a conveyor belt on a large stone crusher. The thermal image shows us that a hot spot is occurring on the input shaft. This was caused by a bearing failure which in turn was caused by belt misalignment. Prior to the inspection there had been a lot of bearing failures on that gearbox. It's very clear to see from the thermal image where the problem lies. This image shows the buzz bar connections on a 1250 amp circuit breaker feeding a large industrial plant. The thermal image shows that an internal fault within the circuit breaker has caused a hot spot on the first phase. The thermal imaging inspection in this plant allowed this fault to be identified and the circuit breaker to be replaced without any loss of production or downtime being incurred. On this inspection we found this motor in a remote part of a plant. The cooling fins in the motor had been clogged with dirt and dust and the fan had been rendered useless. After the inspection, when the fault had been highlighted, a maintenance plan was put in place to routinely check and clean the motor. No damage was incurred to the motor and it's still operating in the plant. This visual image of a motor circuit breaker in an old control panel showed no identifiable faults, but the thermal image on the other hand showed that an internal fault within the motor circuit breaker would have caused an imminent failure. The identification of this fault allowed the faulty component to be changed without any downtime or loss of production incurred in the plant. This three phase switch fuse unit was feeding control panels in a large plant. The thermal image shows that there is an internal fault in the center phase fuse.